Hi, this is Thundee from BorderWalk.com and welcome to our full review and giveaway of the Samsung Focus Flash. Yes, we'll be giving this away at the end of the review, so basically stay tuned, listen, to, watch the whole review and find out at the end how you can win this uh, device for yourself. So anyway, this is uh, the Samsung Focus Flash. It is a uh, Windows Phone uh, 7 device, 7.5 actually, running Mango. It does have a lovely 3.7 inch uh, Super AMOLED display. Let me just turn that on for you guys again. Uh, display, you can see it right there, very crisp and clear in the sunlight, so you guys can just check that out. It's got uh, touch sensing buttons for your back and your search, and your home button is actually a physical button. You do have your dedicated camera button from Windows, which is standard. You do have a five megapixel camera on the, on the back with flash that records at 720p, which will be included in this review. Front facing VGA camera. It's got six gigabytes of storage, actually. Um, doesn't have a micro SD card slot. Ooh, I actually took the battery out there. Uh, you can see that there. But it does have a SIM card uh, slot there, so just showing you guys all that stuff as I take the battery out here. But anyway, um, so let's put this together. Uh, go back inside and check out the uh, Samsung Focus Flash in the full review. Okay, so we're taking a look at the Samsung Focus Flash running uh, <clears throat> Windows 7.5 Mango. The first thing you notice with this device, it is very smooth. There is zero lag. I mean, zero. It does come with one gigabyte of RAM, so I've noticed no slowdowns at all whatsoever. Uh, a lot of new features have been entwined with... Uh, uh, Windows Phone, which is pretty cool. Uh, first of which, of course, is the uh, multitask button, which is your back button. You just have to hold that down, and you can actually see different applications and jump in and out applications that you um, <clears throat> you're using. You can't kill apps because they auto kill themselves, but um, since there really is no slowdown, uh, and I haven't experienced that. I've had uh, probably about uh, eight apps open or so uh, with no slowdown whatsoever. It, it works uh, pretty well and pretty fine. Other thing to note is the uh, deeper integration with uh, Twitter and Facebook as well as LinkedIn to your People Hub. Uh, just going in there, you can. The um, uh, cool thing about the People Hub is that you can actually create uh, groups. So I create a group that's called Random. I can actually, um, I believe I have this group pinned to my desktop. So if I go back, that's the group here. And these are the people in the group. Of course, you can see Phone Dog in there and a couple of my other friends. And you can actually, um, if you have the email contacts for all the whole group, you can actually email the, the whole group directly or individually and actually get information from your specific groups and find out what they're doing. You can also see what's new with the groups, with your Twitter or Facebook accounts, and also uh, look at uh, new pictures from the group as well. So this is something that um, adds a lot to giving specific value to different um, uh, groups or people that you have on your People Hub. But you all know how the People Hub works. You do have your What's New, which basically combines your Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn accounts. So you can already uh, see what uh, people that you know are doing uh, with their, you know, with their lives in Twitter and Facebook. The only downside I notice here is that it doesn't necessarily differentiate which is your Twitter and Facebook account, other than the the uh, retweet icon on the right hand side um, wish they had just put a little icon that said Facebook or Twitter which would be more helpful but uh, you get the hang of it once you use it for a little bit you, of course you know who's on you know what account and so on and so forth so uh, and then you, of course you have your recent area you can jump into people that you've uh, um, dealt with recently and things back and forth now the uh, call quality uh, is decent um, Nothing too fantastic or, or terrible, but it actually works out well. Then again, I had some issues with AT&T with um, the call in the area, so that might have added something to that there. Uh, other things to note, uh, some applications that are Mango-driven have added a lot to um, <clears throat> to actually the whole experience here with the Samsung Focus Flash is something like Last Scout. Uh, last uh, local scout, sorry, local scout is uh, tied to Bing and it allows you to find air things within the area. So, for instance, I just tapped the local scout uh, option and it showed restaurants uh, and bars in my area without me actually searching for those, which is, it, it separates into separate car it uh, divides into separate categories. You have the eat and drink, you do have your uh, see and do, so it shows you things you can do that are, are happening within the area. Uh, you can also, of course, search for stuff yourself, and there's also shopping, but it allows you to easily jump in and find out things 
within the area and uh, see what's new and uh, experience new things. And of course, it links to your Bing map, so you can actually go in there and navigate uh, from your location and find out what you, uh, you you know what's new in the area and things like that. You also have um, tighter music integration with uh, Zune Music. So for instance, I'm jumping in here. This is my history of music, but if you notice, uh, this is actually uh, a YouTube video, uh, which I watched off a YouTube app, but it's also tied into my Zune Music. It's another YouTube video. And this is a song that I actually um, uh, used uh, Bing Music Matching Service that is also sort of saved here in my history. So um, I'll show you, I could show you that in a second, but you can see it's whatever you do is tied into all the different hubs, so you don't have to actually go back or go forward when you're trying to search for something. So I'll give you a, a quick example, and also you can see here I downloaded Tango. I can access Tango directly from here. I haven't set it up, but uh, and you know conduct a video chat if I want to. So there's a lot of in-app integration that allows you to just jump into one app, and from there you can it allows you access different aspects of your uh, device. So uh, let's take a quick look at um, Bing Maps and the music tag and service. So I have the uh, Bing search up. You can see local scout music, location, and of course, um, <clears throat> and of course your voice uh, recognition. So I'm going to play a song here. I'm going to search for it. So it's found the song. Uh, you might you know my name, Chris Cornell. Um, you can either close that up, or you can go to the marketplace, where it'll actually allow you to play the song and listen to it, or you can also purchase the song if you want. So I can go in here. Now, if I had a Zoom Music Pass, I could basically play the whole thing if I wanted to. But right now, it's just playing a 30-second clip for me. So there you have it. So from there, um, I'm already in my Zoom Marketplace if I want to, but say, let's go back in here. You can see all the different applications that are open. I go here, my history has been updated, and I have that song already in there, added to all the other different songs uh, and videos I've looked at. So a lot of in-app integration, which is pretty nice. So for instance, another, um, Cool feature with the in-app integration is say we search for a movie in time which just came out already with my location turned on it shows different areas where um, cinemas that are playing the movie I can click on that and it already will give me um, history on the movie it'll give me show times give me the synopsis I can buy tickets directly or I can actually even go into apps that also have more detailed um, information about the movie. I don't have any of these apps downloaded, but it already gives me a bunch of apps that I could download. So I could download Fandango, buy a ticket through there, or I could just do this uh, through here online and in the installed uh, MS, MSN movie. So there's a lot of that you find with Windows Mobile, which is also pretty nice. Uh, and uh, it's a good feature to have. It makes the experience a very quick in and out experience. And also the live tile. So you can see I have a live tile, NFL live tile here, which gives me updates on uh, scores. You see the Eagles lost the Bears on Monday. Uh, things like that that keep information in front of you so you don't actually have to open up an application to see what's going on uh, with whatever you're interested in uh, overall. Now the camera itself, we'll take a look at the camera. This is a 5 megapixel camera, records a 720p. You can see photos here from the camera. This is just a video recording which we will attach. Uh, this is Thundee. So you see that there. Um, going back. One thing to note with the camera though, uh, in video recording mode, it's default, um, sorry, let me switch to video here. It's default setting is VGA, so it's something you should take note once you want to record. I believe that's just because uh, the 
onboard storage is only six gigabytes, but you always have to switch it to from VGA to 720p. So uh, that's something you guys should take note. Uh, camera app is very simple to use. You just have to activate it with the camera button and um, you're good to go. It does have a few settings here, uh, high quality as well as, you know, the sharpness, um, quality of the video and things like that. Uh, but it's easy to use. Once you take a photo, for instance, you can share it or you can set up to automatically share to your SkyDrive or Facebook. Uh, you can use this wallpaper delete and you can do some auto fixing features here, which it does that for you. And um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it with the camera. So uh, check out the uh, 720p. Hi, uh, this is Thunder Yi. Uh, we are recording at 720p with the Focus S, Samsung Focus S. Uh, New York City, uh, you can see uh, how it records it's at 720. It's giving you a nice view of the city, Stardust, uh, it's the W over there, uh, Wicked is playing still, it's McDonald's, some other stuff. So we give you about 30 to about 45 seconds or so. Some cars driving by, gotta give you some vehicles as always. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and continue this review. So overall, the uh, Samsung Focus Flash, um, it's a neat little device. It reminds me of the Zoom HD. Um, of course, it has a larger screen size. It also has a Super AMOLED display. Uh, functions well. Um, great battery life. Um, I got about maybe 12 to, I would say probably about 12 to 16 hours, very depending on use. But I got uh, enough um, usage of this device. So, um, and also the uh, Windows, um, phone 7.5 experience with mango has been very very good especially with all the in-app integrations you get i only showed you some i'll probably show you more with other reviews as we go along but um the in-app integration allows you to just jump in and out of your applications with ease so that's something uh two notes uh that uh allows the device to handle very well. The uh, memory usage is great. Again, it has one gigabyte of memory, so I, there's really no slowdown. I have not experienced a slowdown once in this device, which is something to say um, that they've done pretty well, especially with Samsung crafting the Focus Flash. So uh, it's a solid buy, especially for a budget phone for $49.99 and something, you know, if you're looking for something quick on the AT&T network, uh, that works well this is uh, definitely a device for you so let's uh, go back outside and find out how you guys can win a Samsung Focus Flash so you've been seen our full review of the Samsung Focus Flash you see it's a great device we actually like it we like um, you know it's functionality and stuff it's a great budget phone and I think you know if you're looking for a decent phone of $49.99 on the AT&T network it's something to go ahead and pick up like we said at the beginning of this review that we you'd be able to win one so here it is this is a focus flash courtesy of uh, AT&T so it's actually a brand new device in here as we have the other one in our hand so you can easily win this you have very simple options here first of all you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel be a subscriber there then you have to leave a comment on something you've heard in the review about a specific feature of the focus flash and that's pretty much it and you're entered to win so easily win a focus flash um, all you have to do is leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you are good to go so uh, if you guys have any questions any comments about the Samsung focus flash let us know uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages of YouTube Twitter and Facebook it's all border work with two O's and also check out the website at borderwork.com um, so again you can win the Samsung focus flash leave a uh, just leave a comment and subscribe to our channel leave a comment about what you saw in the review and yes you can definitely win one of these so this is Thunder saying thank you and enjoy entertainment